This week, Inline4 had a chance to go to RC Engineering. We had an opportunity to speak with one of their engineers there and see exactly what goes on behind the scenes. A lot of people know how they sell their brand new injectors, but what people don't realize is what they can do to your factory injectors. A lot of people go around with all the bolt-ons getting lots of good airflow into their motor and don't consider about the proper fuel tuning required to get a good power and reliability. So let's see what he has to say about their services and how they can be used to improve reliability and power. I'm Wayne San Miguel and I'm one of the injector guys here at RC Engineering in Torrance, California. A lot of people know that we provide fuel injectors for race motors. We also can provide fuel injectors for your normal performance streetcar. And we also can do uh, fuel injector servicing. We can service stock fuel injectors um, as well as uh, doing testing to fuel pumps and, and extensive testing to fuel injectors if you wanted to know specific flow rates at a certain RPM or if you're just trying to build a motor and you want to know what kind of fuel injector you need before you finish your project. RC Engineering has been involved in fuel injector development and testing for nearly half a century. Started from a passion in motorcycles by drag racing legend Russ Collins in the mid-1960s, Russ began to design his own high-performance fuel injection products simply because the market had yet to invent them yet. All the testing equipment for flow rate and spray pattern analysis was handmade by Russ himself. As a testament to his quality and dedication, this start-from-scratch dream has now become a global player and the de facto standard for fuel injector performance and testing. We've been in business for more than four years here and we can provide services for fuel injectors or fuel injectors for, for nearly any gasoline uh, motor, um, from cars to motorcycles, um, boats, snowmobiles, jet skis, anything that's fuel injected uh, on gasoline. For today's cleaning and testing, we brought in a set of used OEM injectors from one of our customers' cars. This standard B-series injector from Honda was originally rated at 240 cc's per minute. Due to contaminants, poor fuel, and the simple fact that this injector has been in use for nearly 15 years continuously, we felt using this set would be an excellent example to show the degradation of injector performance over the lifetime of your engine. What I have here is a typical Kian injector found in most Hondas. You actually could get debris down inside of the top of the fuel injector and actually clog it up in there. Down inside is actually a little plunger that could get kind of uh, rusted and clogged and, or debris stuck inside of it. Uh, down on the lower side of the injector too, which is probably where more of the typical problems are at, um, I'll open this up here. Typically debris will kind of collect here or at the valve seat itself. Over time too, if you don't run a car, gasoline will kind of get dried up here and kind of make the valve itself stick. Uh, the way that we would clean it, we'd actually use the ultrasound and you know vibrate solution through the injector while we pulse the fuel injector. And that actually help to kind of open and close and get the solution inside of there and break everything down. To test your fuel injector electronically, you actually want to make sure that it falls in the right resistance range. On a low impedance injector, it should be generally between two and four ohms. On a high impedance injector, it's generally between 11 and 16 ohms. And you're trying to look to make sure that you're not out of those, those ranges. And the way to test that is you actually just take your multimeter and set it to the resistance or the ohm setting. Just test straight across the fuel injector. This is a saturated or a high impedance injector. And it should read between 11 and 16 ohms. And like a typical Honda, it reads right at 12.2. Um, if you get a reading of it, that's very high, something like 30 ohms or 100 ohms, you probably are having an injector that's beginning to burn. If you get no continuity through the injector, the injector is burned and you have to replace it. The first thing that is done to all fuel injectors when they arrive here for cleaning is they go on a base fuel rail that measures overall flow rate. This is a very simple way of testing and to see overall performance of these injectors. The way that we flow test a fuel injector is first we start the fuel pump and we set the fuel pressure at 43.5 psi of fuel pressure and we test for one full minute and then we'll get you a rate in cc's per minute. This fuel injector definitely has a bad spray pattern. You could see how it's spraying in more than one direction and there's actually empty space in the middle. 
got the fuel pressure set at 43 and a half psi fuel pressure. I'm going to close the valves and flow test for one full minute. And this is a typical Honda B series injector, and they should flow approximately 240 cc's in one minute. Here's the results at, at the end of a one minute test. The number one fuel injector is approximately 236 cc's per minute. Number two is about 236 also. The number three injector with the bad spray pattern is about 198 cc's and the number four injector is about 148 cc's per minute so they definitely need some cleaning so all of them get back up near that 240 cc per minute level. And typically what I'm looking at the end of the test is to see how even they are relative to each other. Afterwards the fuel injectors go to a cleaning service. They are ultrasonic cleaned in a solution for many hours until all debris and contaminants are cleaned. From here they go to a second larger fuel rail system where the actual spray pattern is analyzed to make sure angle and proper flow is achieved. The injectors are then taken, they are remachined and sandblasted to a new finish, retested on the original flow bench to make sure they are at or exceeding their original flow rate and then all test results from before and after are documented and shipped back to the customer. These were the two fuel injectors that were kind of flowing off in flow rate and kind of pouring spray pattern spraying in different directions. Um, now they're flowing even to, even to each other in flow rate right near 240 to 245 cc's per minute. Um, the benefit of this is you have even amounts of fuel in each cylinder um, if you have uneven amounts, you're going to get uneven burn all of the time. The price to do this is $24 an injector, $96 for the set of four, and probably easily over the course of the year, you probably save that much in gas alone. Um, for the racers out there, you definitely are going to be able to capture all of that power that you have um, and use it effectively. If you have uneven flow rates, you can have uneven acceleration and deceleration. Servicing your fuel injector is a real cost-effective way to make sure that your motor is running properly. It will save you a whole lot of money making sure that you have the proper amount of fuel all the time um, flowing through the fuel injectors. If you have a performance vehicle, it actually makes sure that it's running at its optimal all the time. Um, in addition to servicing and fuel injectors, we definitely can provide you with larger flowing injectors for your street car, for your race car. Um, and in addition to that, if you have a custom application with a strange fuel rail or a different manifold, you're changing manifolds or anything like that, we could definitely machine the injector or get you a proper set fit into the, into the rail at any time. There's very few applications that we can handle. Yeah. With that said, thanks for coming to RC and definitely you can walk in and visit us um, with your dealer or a regular re retailer. Come anytime, large business, small business, any any application, one fuel injector, anything. Um, and we're here at 20807 Higgins Court in Torrance and check us out at rceng.com um, or definitely email at rc at rceng.com or give us a call. Thank you.